Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 3870X2 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 3870X2 video card is an installation guide, software, drivers, a case badge, component video adapter, two DVI to VGA dongles, one DVI to HDMI dongle, a crossfire bridge, as well as a screwdriver. This pocket screwdriver is really handy to have when you're installing something on the computer system or just to have around the house. It comes with a light and a level. The Radeon HD 3800 series video cards are currently available in three models, the 3850, 3870 and 3870X2. Note that the 3870X2 is the fastest in the 3800 series video cards because it has two graphical processing units on a single card. This essentially makes it twice as fast as the 3870 video card. The HIS HD 3870X2 video card has a PCI Express interface of 1.1 and not the newer PCI Express interface of 2. This video card is based on two RV670 cores which are built using the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 1.3 billion transistors. The cooler on this card is massive and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air and forces it across the heatsink then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. The only downside to this cooler is it occupies two expansion slots. Also note that the noise level at maximum load is 36 decibels, which is on par with most other high-end video cards. The heatsink on this video card has many fins and comes in direct contact with the GPUs and memory. It's worth noting that one part of the heatsink is copper and the other part is aluminum. While this is kind of odd, it helps keep weight at a minimum. There's no question that this is one very impressive cooler and will have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds. If you are overclocking though, I would strongly recommend additional case cooling just to be safe. This video card has two DVI connections, a video out connection, and requires a six pin and a 8 pin power cable connection. The maximum power consumption of this video card is 196 watts. So a quality power supply that can handle the load is mandatory. This card though has what's called light gaming mode for less intensive 3D applications and in this mode it only uses 110 watts. The core speed on this product is 825 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR3 256 bit memory is 1.8 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 640 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 32 texture units, 32 raster operations, the fill rate is 26.4 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is 115.2 gigabytes per second. This video card has many new technologies, too many to go over in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. It has a 256-bit memory interface, custom filter anti-aliasing, unified superscalar shader architecture, tessellation, high-definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video, you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, 
added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display, and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier. The performance on this video card is exceptional, and that's to be expected with two 3870 GPUs on a single video card. Remember, this card does crossfire, so you can have a quad GPU video card setup, which is extremely cool and powerful. Now, while the performance results were exceptional on this video card, I expect even more performance out of it as the drivers mature. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. X2. Note that the service <laughs> Having a video card that has two GPUs on the single card is good, y'all. Yeah? You can have quad cooling. Be quad cooling? Ha <laughs> ha! Quad cooling. Yeah, quad cooling good. Uh, yeah. But it will perform even better once the drivers become more mature. Mature drivers?